Something strange is going on around here. It's been an alien life form reported in the area. Here it is. Prepare for launch. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. Coming to you once again from the Nerd Den, located high atop Luna Base. And today we are taking a look at the ultimate ALF action figure from NECA. Very excited about this one. Huge ALF fan when I was a kid. Watched it every week. <laughs> Love this little furry alien. Uh, so yeah, we got the uh, box here. Got a nice picture of Alf on the front. Let's see, what does it say? Oh look, someone with taste. <laughs> here we got a picture of Alf on the side there with his sunglasses. Uh, got another picture there. Spare some change for a reboot. Yes, indeed. Bring back Alf. Uh, got the top of the box there. Got the back. Lots of pictures of the figure with his accessories. Got a little blurb there. And of course, Alf, his real name is Gordon Shumway. Alf stands for alien life form. Uh, he's from the planet Melmac and he crash landed here on Earth. He's just trying to get home. But there's uh, the boring stuff down there on the bottom. Then of course it's NECA ultimate figure, so you got the little flap. And there's a picture sitting there on the couch with a bowl of popcorn. There's Alf right there with all his accessories. Very, very cool. I can't wait to get this open and take a look at it. So let's do it. All right, we've got Alf out of the box and we're gonna start off taking a look at the accessories. First off, we have a bag of, uh, what is it? Slime flavored slug balls or something. I can't remember what these are called, but uh, it's a little snack <laughs> that Alf enjoys. Very nice uh, paintwork and sculpting, uh, very disgusting. But hey, he's an alien. Now more to our liking, here's a bowl of popcorn. <laughs> it's a very nice looking bowl. Can definitely tell what it's supposed to be. Nice paintwork on it, good sculpt. So yeah, nice bowl of popcorn there. And to wash that bowl of popcorn down is a nice cold beverage. It's definitely not a Pepsi. Uh, Fusco, whatever that is, but definitely not a Pepsi. <laughs> but nice looking can, little logos, got the tab open. So yeah, cool little soda can. Then we have a little pair of sunglasses here. Nice and simple, just black plastic. Fit on his face. I'll show you that when we look at the figure. And here we have a nice little portrait of Alf's girlfriend, Rhonda. And I think this is uh, actually a screenshot from the show. Nice gold frame. The back is nice. Got, shows the little tabs and everything. It's a very realistic uh, picture frame there. Very nice. And then we have a cat sandwich on a plate. I think this might be lucky. Uh, the Tanner's cat, I'm not 100% sure, but it is a cat sandwich, and cats are a delicacy on the planet Melmac. So, uh, there you go. Again, very nice sculpt, very nice paintwork. What else do you expect from NECA? Now, probably one of the cooler accessories is his helm radio that he uses to try and contact his people. Lots of detail on it. All kinds of little cubbies and buttons and knobs. Very, very cool. Got a little, not stretchy, it's not stretchy at all, but got the cord going from the microphone to the radio. 
Very, very cool. Love this accessory. The final accessory is his very loud Hawaiian shirt. Got the little collar here. Comes in a separate bag. Let's see, is this, yeah, it's got Velcro to seal it shut. So you can take it off and on fairly easily. Again, I will show you what that looks like on the figure here in a little bit. And Alf also comes with several extra hands. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five extra hands, including the two that come on the figure. Uh, the two that are already on the figure are open hands. Uh, got a little grippy hand. I think that's probably for the soda. I've uh, got a pointy hand here. I'll set those down as I go through them. Uh, looks like another little grippy hand. Almost like a fine point. Like you can hold a piece of paper. Maybe that's for the picture frame. I don't know. <laughs> uh, another pointy hand. This is a left hand. Again, great sculpt work, nice and furry. Got a little pad in his hand. Tips of the fingers are got some dry brushing on them. And then finally, another grippy hand. Yeah, lots of extra hands for Alf. Four fingers, or three fingers and a thumb, however you want to count it. And here we go, here is Alf himself. And this is just a great looking figure. Love this thing. As usual, NECA is just killing it with the sculpt and the paintwork on this. Looks just like the puppet from the show back in the day. Got his little comb over here, got the black eyes. Got his little teeth in there. And it's got his little tail. But great sculpt, great paint. Just what you expect from NECA. But uh, we will go over articulation real quick. Uh, he looks up very nicely, down nicely. Plenty of tilt to give him attitude and twists. So, yeah, that's great articulation on the head. He's actually got articulated mouth. The upper part of his head, it's got just a little bit of movement. And then the bottom has quite a bit. So you can open and close. And it's actually, you can kind of kick it off to the side. So you can kind of do the sideways jaw that he liked to do. <laughs> so yeah, great articulation on the mouth there. And there's just a little soft rubbery overlay here at the neck. Arms go out to the side and go all the way around. Got double jointed elbows. So that bends nicely. Then you have the hands and they will swap out. And there's a little hinge right there. And all the hands have the same hinges. Not a lot of room with this a little fur overlay. So they don't move a ton, but they will move. Then you have this cut right here in the torso. And I mean, it'll go all the way around. Uh, not a lot of forward and back bend, but enough. And there's, this is soft rubbery, kind of an overlay here, so it gets out of the way. Same down here on the bottom, especially around the legs. Nice, soft, rubbery plastic to get out of the way. Tail does not feel like it's articulated. Uh, the leg, again, gets out of the wave for when you kick it up. Not a ton, but it's off. <laughs> He's not going to be doing a lot of action poses. Goes back very nicely. Uh, kicks out to the side a lot. I mean, you can do the full splits. <laughs> and there's a little dumbbell in there between the legs. 
uh, single jointed knees. It's, uh, still gets 90 degrees, so good enough. And the foot, uh, can't quite tell. Looks like it might be a ball joint. A little bit of a hinge in there. Doesn't do much. Rotates nicely. You can get a little bit of rocks. Uh, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble getting them to stand. But yeah, there you go. There's your articulation. And I just love this figure. It is so cool. Uh, I'm going to bust out some accessories. Maybe put a shirt on and sunglasses. See how that goes on. And I will give you my final thoughts. All right, got Alf all posed up here. Got his shirt on, holding his definitely not a Pepsi can. And ready to dine on a nice little cat sandwich. Uh, got his sunglasses on there. And uh, I'm just in love with this figure. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, definitely, I know it's only February, but this is already a contender for my figure of the year. I love this thing so much. I uh, got him posed up, got his jaw kind of off to the side there, got his sunglasses on. Very, very cool. Uh, the shirt wasn't super hard to get on. I do recommend pulling the hands off. Uh, didn't stick his arm straight up, slide dried on, Velcro's nice and easy. Fix the collar, pop the hands back on, you're good to go. But yeah, Alf personal favorite character of mine from my childhood and that guy just really came through on this figure i i have zero complaints none whatsoever love this figure <laughs> uh but yeah that is going to do it for this closer look at alf uh if you're new here do me a favor hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video but that's gonna do it i will see you guys next time around.